We start tonight with breaking news an Arcadia police officer. Two others have been shot. It happened around 615, the 2500 block of Greenfield Avenue in Arcadia. A second officer suffered a minor injury at the scene, was rescued and put in an ambulance. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live tonight on the scene in Arcadia with the latest. Lori? Hi guys, yeah, there's a lot going on here right behind me. I will tell you, we were much closer before, but they pushed us back about an hour ago, they said, for our own safety. And I will tell you that there seems to have been a shift in energy here in just the last maybe half hour. A lot of those officers that you see um, standing uh, down this alleyway came from around the corner, came from the house um, in question and are now huddled around that uh, car as if uh, there has been some development. The house where a person has been barricaded, where we understand a person was barricaded for about two hours, is actually down this alley. If you go all the way to the stop sign and to the right in the 2500 block of Greenfield Street, it's a one, um, it's a, a street with only one exit, one entrance, a, a kind of short street. And we're told that um, someone in that house was barricaded after being called, after police were called there, as you said, at around six o'clock. Uh, there was some sort of a family dispute. A man who uh, is standing near us just told us that he is a family member. There was some sort of a family dispute and uh, the police were called. Shots were fired. I understand we do have some video of um, of the police response. We understand, as you said, that one police officer was shot. Two other civilians were shot. And at one point, um, there was an armored vehicle that came in. We've seen a number of armored vehicles going down this street and a police officer had to be rescued. He was seeking cover behind a tree because of the gunfire that was coming, uh, we're told, out of the house and uh, injured his ankle in the response. Just a massive response here. Uh, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, the SWAT team, of course, El Monte Police, along with Arcadia Police, all called here, of course, as soon as reports started coming out about that officer who was shot. Um, we also also saw a little boy here. We were um, standing next to a family who was very distraught with a little boy, and we have since been told that that little boy was inside the house uh, when this all went down, started uh, going down, and uh, was fortunately was rescued and did not appear hurt. Though we did, uh, to my own eye, seem uh, certainly flustered and was seeking comfort from uh, the people that he was with. Evacuated, uh, police evacuated homes in and around the house that was uh, in question. And again, as I said, it does seem that there has been some sort of movement, some sort of action. Perhaps um, they have wrapped things up here or things are coming to an end, hopefully. Guys, back to you.